the largest seismic activity that followed on the critical planetary and lunar geometry on the 21st and 22nd was a magnitude 5.8 at the Pacific Antarctic Ridge right at the lunar peak on the 23rd. With the critical planetary geometry in mind, we did anticipate larger seismic activity. And the reason for that is the strong to major and even great seismic activity that can follow on that specific planetary geometry as we can see here on the website. If we do a search for Venus, Mercury, Mars in conjunction, we see major seismic activity and even great seismic activity like in 1950. And this tells us something about the potential that some planetary geometry can have. We continue to build these reports on the website. You can verify them for yourself. It is open access. So if you ask ourselves the question, is an earthquake warning like we had last week substantiated? Well, if we look at large seismic activity that occurred in the past, yes, some of the large seismic activity is associated with this particular planetary geometry. And that's why we issued the warning. We anticipate the larger seismic activity, but in this case, only 5.8 happened, not even magnitude 6. We have to go back to the 20th, the 6.4 offshore in Northern California that followed on some critical planetary geometry here. It also happened at the lunar peak. The key here is the condition of Earth's crust. We do not know the amount of stress. It really requires a critical amount of stress along a fault section. And that's the one thing that we cannot measure. And that's really the blind spot. So we can anticipate a large seismic activity based on planetary and lunar geometry. But it's no guarantee that it is going to happen because it depends on the condition of Earth's crust, the amount of stress along faults. And as long as we cannot measure that, it really is about anticipating and we can only talk about probabilities. So what do we have in the coming days? We see a convergence of planetary and lunar geometry both on the 28th and 29th. We have Earth-Moon-Neptune conjunction at 2140, that's tonight, followed by Sun-Mercury-Uranus. And then early on the 29th, a lunar conjunction with Jupiter at 1144, followed by Venus, Mercury, Earth at 1344. On the SSGI graph, we see the critical planetary and lunar geometry practically converging around the 29th. A high lunar peak, 18 on the index, and a convergence like this means a higher probability of larger seismic activity on the 30th, 31st, and possibly the 1st of January. That's about two and a half days following the critical planetary and lunar geometry. Two and a half, three days is typical for larger seismic activity to occur after a convergence of critical planetary and lunar geometry occurred like we see here on the or around the 29th. In the solar system we see the Sun, Mercury and Uranus in a conjunction that's late on the 28th and we see that lunar geometry is coming up, lunar conjunctions with Neptune and Jupiter in a short amount of time followed by the planetary conjunction with Earth, Mercury and Venus. This one can be critical. Mercury in a conjunction with Earth and another planet can result in strong to major seismic activity. We haven't seen anything over magnitude 6 since the last critical geometry occurred on the 21st, 22nd. So it's very difficult to make any estimates here, but strong to major seismic activity should be anticipated. Maybe it will be around mid-6, maybe it will be larger. That's really difficult to say, but we do know from past observations that a combination of Mercury and Venus in a conjunction can be critical and we could be in for a surprise. And the fact that it happens early on the 29th, late 28th, early 29th, means that we could see increased seismic activity as early as later on the 29th. But I think the primary focus should be on the 30th, 31st, and maybe the 1st of January for a seismic response following this specific planetary and lunar geometry. On the website, you'll find the latest forecast and magnitude probability, and also links to social media where we post additional updates. Be safe. Until next time.